In this video, we're going to look at two examples of dealing with a drug label that has two medications on it. What we see here is lisinopril and hydrochlorothiazide. I think that's how you say it. But we have two medications and we have two strengths down here. The first one is going to go with the first medication, lisinopril, 10 milligrams. The second medication here is going to be the second strength, and most drug labels will even break it down right here. We can see that each tablet contains 10 milligrams of the lisinopril. Lisinopril, 10 milligrams, first word, first strength. And then each tablet also contains 12.5 milligrams of hydrochlorothiazide. Notice hydrochlorothiazide, second medication, second strength. Now the way these questions are worded, most of the time they'll include both of the medications and the strengths for both of those orders in the prescription. However, sometimes they will not, like this one right here. And that's why I wanna do two separate examples here. So back to this first one, we have lisinopril and hydrochlorothiazide, 20 milligrams of the lisinopril and 25 milligrams of the hydrochlorothiazide. And this is per day divided into two doses. We have the drug label where we can see what's available and the question says, how many tablets will the client receive each day? Now desired over half does work just fine here. Now if you've been following my videos, you know I'm a huge fan of dimensional analysis, but really the focus of this video is talking about the two medications on a single drug label. So I'm gonna do desired over half. Very rare that I do formulas, but again, the focus is on these two medications on one drug label. So notice up here in this order, we have two numbers here. The 20 is gonna go with the lisinopril. The 25 is gonna go with the hydrochlorothiazide. Now you may say, well, which one do we use? Well, it doesn't matter in these types of problems. And let me explain why. If we look at what's available, do you notice how each tablet has 10 milligrams of lisinopril and 12.5 milligrams of hydrochlorothiazide? Well, if we double both of these numbers, 10 milligrams times two is 20 milligrams. Do you see what I'm saying? And if you take 12.5 milligrams times two, there's the 25 milligrams. Now maybe you're already thinking, oh, we need two tablets. And this is two tablets per day. But again, the big idea, it doesn't really matter which one of these you use in a dose count problem. This should be proportional to what is available. Meaning, whatever you essentially multiply the first strength by to get this one, you should be able to multiply the second strength by that same value to get this one here. Now the next example in a moment, is gonna be a little bit different. And yes, we can do dimensional analysis, but let's look at desired over half times quantity. And I'm just gonna use the lisinopril here. What is desired is 20 milligrams of lisinopril. So 20 milligrams, that's desired, over half. What is available, now make sure you use the right one. Lisinopril, first word, and it even mentions right here the 10 milligrams. You can get it from two spots on this label. So that's what's available. 10 milligrams is what's available. And the quantity here, this is per tablet. Each tablet, 10 milligrams of lisinopril. So really what we're multiplying by the quantity is 10 milligrams per one tablet. And if we go ahead and work all this out, we can definitely get rid of the milligrams. Yes, the units are the same, so we can automatically use desired over half very quickly here. And 20 divided by 10 is two times one tab. Our answer is two tablets, but we have to be careful here. Is this two tablets per day or two tablets per dose? The 20 milligrams of lisinopril or the 25 milligrams of hydrochlorothiazide, that is milligrams per day. And we did not break it up into any doses. In all honesty, this part is irrelevant in this particular question. It will not be in the next example. So since we needed 20 milligrams per day of lisinopril, we used that 20 milligrams per day. This represents two tablets per day. That's our answer to this first question. Now something to note, had you used the 25 milligrams of the hydrochlorothiazide instead as your desired, as you can see right here, that is totally fine as long as you use the 12.5 milligrams of the hydrochlorothiazide that is available. Notice these two values are different. The 12.5 milligrams per tablet, that is what we have here for the hydrochlorothiazide based on the drug label. And even though we have two different numbers here, if we take 25 divided by 12.5, that gives us two times one tablet, that's two tabs per day. Same answer, 
And as I mentioned a few minutes ago, it doesn't matter which one of these you use because these should be proportional to the two strengths that you have given on your drug label. That's just the way these dose count problems work. But now that second example, let's have a look. When I have worked with students in dose count, Every once in a while, I'll see a drug label that has two medications on it, but the order is only for one of them. And this is where we have to be careful and again, make sure we're using the right strength. For example here, hydrochlorothiazide, 50 milligrams per day, divided into two doses with lisinopril. So this little added piece here essentially means we're using these two things together, but the 50 milligrams per day is referring specifically to the hydrochlorothiazide. Now look at this question. How many tablets will the client receive each dose? Ooh. Now we can still use desired over half, but let's be careful. The 50 milligrams refers to the hydrochlorothiazide. That is what's desired. Divided by what's available. Do not divide by the 10 milligrams because the 10 milligrams refers to the lisinopril. The 12.5 milligrams refers to the hydrochlorothiazide. It's the order of these words and the order of those strengths. They have to match up. And again, a lot of times your drug label will break it down right there for you. We can see that the hydrochlorothiazide, each tablet has 12.5 milligrams. 12.5 milligrams is what's available. That is per one tablet. And essentially we're doing pretty much the same thing we did in the last example with desired over half. The milligrams cancel. Now if we take 50 divided by 12.5, we get a nice number. We get four. And this represents four tablets per what? That 50 milligrams that was desired, that's 50 milligrams per day. So this is tablets per day. And if we read this question again, we want tablets per dose. So a quick way to solve this, the problem says it's divided into two doses. We will take the four tablets per day, break that up into two doses, and that will be two tabs each dose. So a couple of things here, two medications on one drug label, and then also with each one of these questions, I did technically ask two different things, you know, tablets per day, whereas over here it was tablets per dose. So I'm still throwing in those tricky parts there where you have to be careful and make sure you read the question carefully. But again, the big thing to hit on here, I've said it multiple times now, two medications, one drug label. A lot of times when you're given a dose count problem, it'll have both of them up there with the strengths of both. And it does not matter which one of these you use in that problem because this should be proportional to whatever that says there. That's just the way these dose count problems work. However, you may run across a problem. I have seen it with students where there's two medications on one drug label, but they only give you the order for one of them. Sure, it might say to include the other, but you have to make sure in this case that that milligrams or micrograms or whatever it is, it's referring to this drug here and you gotta make sure you match that up with the correct strength on your drug label. I hope that clears things up here. And if you did do dimensional analysis, great. You know, I love that. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.